Hello everyone, it is another beautiful Monday and another great week just passed by in the Webflow community. And you are here for another episode of Webflow Weekly. Today, again, we are joined by my temporary co-host Mozart the Cow because Duncan is not here. If you miss Duncan, drop something in the comments. We all miss Duncan. Anyways, we have some really, really exciting stuff now in the Webflow community. So let's get right into it. First things first, this has been so long anticipated by I think everyone in the Webflow community, and that is Webflow's new version of their interactions has started launching. It has actually already gone live to a couple people. I'm not sure who, where, what, why, when, how. I don't know. I still don't have access to it. I really wanted to show you in this video a little demo animation, but I can't do that yet. I will do that as soon as I get access. That being said, Webflow purchased GSAP. I think last year, maybe two years ago, I kind of forget when that happened. But if you don't know already, GSAP is, let's say, the leading... It's it's the gold standard in front-end animations right now. Um, if you've been involved with Webflow for a while, you probably use GSAP. That being said, GSAP up until now has been only possible to use by coding. What Webflow did is they made a visual GSAP editor, which is insane. I'm super excited to use that because, well, before, you know, if you really wanted a really smooth animation, you kind of just had to use code with GSAP. Webflow interaction simply did not cut it. So that is live. I'm going to let you watch this video here from Webflow, specifically from Keegan, that explains it a little bit more. There should be a link to this video in the description. Really exciting announcement. I wish I could show you it right now, but I can't. Now, nothing else. I mean, this is enough. Thank you, Webflow. We don't need anything more for one week. That being said, there's nothing more for me to show you from Webflow side. So now I'm going to hop into clonables. First thing, we have some animations. And then after that, we have some templates. And this week was really, really good in the Webflow showcase. There has been some extremely high quality stuff released. I didn't want to include everything because this episode would have ended up being like a million years. So I only have a little bit. But anyways, let's go and take a look at it right now. So first things first, I just wanted to transition into this with the topic of GSAP. So we have GSAP test text animations right here. And it says this is using Webflow's new interactions with GSAP. So I wonder if we're going to be able to see that. Let's go ahead right now and just open the live site. So as we can see this, I'm going to go one more time. We can slow it down maybe even in the video so you can see. That is a really cool animation, how it just slides up. Now, that is not easy to do with normal Webflow interactions, as is this. If you wanted to do this usually with Webflow interactions, you would need to make everything a span. It would be messy. It would not be recommended. This is a beautiful bunch of animations. Let's go ahead and pop it open in Webflow and see if we can actually see that new interactions panel. I'm going to go ahead and guess that we cannot unfortunately or perhaps they are just using code I'm not quite sure let's go and see if there's code if there's no code then that is uh yep okay so it actually does seem like they did this through the new webflow interactions which I do not have access to yet so I don't have access to it that being said as you can see there's no code in here that is super cool so this was made by the resonance I'm going to go ahead and open their profile right now. Um, go ahead and check this out. If you do have access to the new interactions, then you will be able to access this. Now, moving on, we have something here that I, I've never seen something get this many clones so fast. I don't know how that's possible to the Osmo team. Wow. I don't know how you did that. I mean, it is using the new GSAP interactions panel. Maybe Webflow promoted it. I don't know. Point is, this is a really, really cool loading animation. Take a look at this. Goes in, opens that up, switches the pictures. Boom, right there. You are on the page. Really cool interaction. I'm going to go ahead and pop that open in Webflow. That being said, again, I don't think I'm going to be able to show you because, well, I don't have access to the new Webflow interactions. And unfortunately, I was correct. That being said, we have the loader here with some custom elements. Loader box in there. 
which has some nested divs in it and some images. Very cool. I bet it's even cooler if you have access to the new Webflow interactions. So anyways, I'm going to stop crying about the fact that I don't have access to Webflow interactions, and I'm now going to show you this by Risha Bry, who has been a frequent uh, feature in pretty much all of our episodes. So anyways, let's go ahead and pop this open. And again, oh, what? Oh, there we go. There it is. I'm sure you can see this, these little dots that are following along. It's like a little glow. We actually featured something similar in last week's episode. And again, I just think this really adds some life to what could otherwise be a boring hero section. And so it's one of those things that I love to shout out because you can use this in pretty much any project. So let's go ahead and open it and just see how Reshop made this. So let's go ahead and open it in Webflow. And okay, so we have this content wrapper, we have this container large, we have all of this stuff. It seems to be built with client first for the most part. And then we have some code in here. How much code do we have? 82 lines, doesn't seem like too much. And we've got some class here. So we have spotlight, we have mask image, we have page wrapper. So you can go ahead and check those out, swap them to your project in order to make them work. But overall, it's not very complicated. Seems like something that's more or less just a copy-paste job, and you will get that really cool effect in your project. So Reshab, again, one more week of me saying thank you, Reshab, for the contribution. Now we're moving into some really, really crazy templates. Um, so first things first, we have from Situpa, Situpa Ganarantne. Please tell me how to say your name. I just butchered it horrifically. That being said, Man, this template is amazing. You could have charged a decent bit of money for this template, but you're giving it out for free, which again is going to get people to see your name. So we have this really cool upper nav menu. Buttons have awesome interactions. Now I'm going to scroll. As you can see, there is a smooth scrolling. There is a custom cursor. This is a portfolio template with work and... I just have to say this is one of the most beautiful portfolio templates I think I have ever seen. I would highly recommend using this because if you use this for your portfolio, I would happily hire you. And wow, what more can I say? This is just awesome. I believe this is a one pager. That being said, this doesn't need to be any more than a one pager. I think this this does all of the talking in on its own. So. This is just, it's called Lumena. It is such a cool template. I'm going to go ahead and open it in Webflow and again, just see if there is anything more we can see. So it seems to be using the Webflow Marketplace class naming conventions, if I'm not wrong. With sections, everything is extremely neatly organized. It is using collection lists for the work, which is absolutely awesome. There we go. Here is work. Let's go ahead and open this one. Again, beautiful animations beautiful little menu in there this is just an awesome template through and through um what more can i say about this other than situpa beautiful beautiful design amazing template everyone watching this this is completely free literally go ahead copy paste it and you are good to go now we have another really awesome template here, this time by B9 Digital. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this open live so we can see what it is that we are working with. Awesome little interaction right there with the logo. This one does not have smooth scrolling. That being said, smooth scrolling is an interesting one. Uh, one thing, I'm actually gonna go ahead and pop this open as well. And I'm gonna kind of talk a little bit about my, uh, let, let's say the things that I do and I don't like about smooth scrolling. So this is a site without smooth scrolling. Again, beautiful site with beautiful animations. Here we also have a beautiful site with beautiful animations. Smooth scrolling is, well, on the bright side, it's smooth. On the not so bright side, uh, when I scroll down, I am very used to scrolling on my computer. It's a thing that I do every day, much like most of you. Uh, and the problem with smooth scrolling is that it doesn't actually match the physics of normal scrolling. And so if I want to scroll down here now to see birds, it's a different scroll. It's not what I'm used to. And honestly, it's kind of annoying. That being said, it also looks really nice. Whereas here, again, I scroll, it goes where I want it to go, and that is it. So I don't really know if I'm a fan of smooth scrolling. It is pretty, 
but it also kind of bothers me. So let me know in the comments if you do or do not like smooth scrolling. Uh, that being said, back on the topic of the Reach template here by B9. Beautiful template, beautiful imagery, very simple design, and it is showing something in Toronto. And if you didn't know, I am from not very far from Toronto. Haven't been there in a while though. But anyways, so really awesome template from B9. Again, let's pop it open in Webflow just so we can check out what is going on under the hood. So here it looks like we're using client first, which again, if you've been watching these episodes, you know that client first makes Julian a very happy guy. I love client first. I use it on literally every single project that I do in Webflow. It to me is just the best way of building projects in Webflow. Um, yeah, so this is using client first, which is super, super awesome. It's also using CMS, which is great. And this is not a one page template. Okay, so we have an about page. Awesome. We have a projects page. Amazing. We have a team page looks great now there's only one person that being said this all looks like very real information avery shopsowitz here he's got a whole like bio to him and everything this again might be a real project that they launched as a clonable um if so get it while you can because they're probably not going to keep it up for that long but if not and if it is meant to be a clonable then it is a really friggin awesome clonable Regardless, awesome project. And we have one more today, and that is Yuvra Juvra Agency Template by Saeed, 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 Saeed. I'm going to say Saeed. Please let me know how to say your name in the comments. So anyways, again, a really beautiful, really clean template that we have over here. So popping it open, as we can see, we have some really, really awesome interactions. Uh, also, the nav bar does this cool thing where it like shrinks as you scroll down, which is absolutely awesome. Let's take a look. Okay, so we've got some more interactions over here. This is a really, I want to say, just beautiful template, but it's not very opinionated. I feel like you could use this template for a lot of different projects, which if you've seen some of the previous episodes, you'd know that I absolutely love that for templates because, well, I think, you know, for example, we have this beautiful, beautiful Lumena template. That being said, it's a very strong and opinionated design. If that's not your design, well, you might have to change it a lot to really make it feel like yours, which might be overly complicated. Whereas something here like this Yuvra slash Juvra template, um, it is not very difficult to adapt it to your own look because it doesn't have a very strong personality on its own. It's like a canvas for you to work with. Uh, and this actually says it's built with Lumos. So I have literally never used Lumos. It is by Timothy Ricks. It is a, let's, let's say competitor. I don't know if I could call it a competitor, but it is a, another way of naming your classes in Webflow. And uh, I've heard a lot of good things about it. That being said, I don't really quite know why I would use it instead of client first. If you're somebody who uses Lumos, please drop something in the comments below to let me know why you use Lumos. Uh, ideally, if you also use client first and you just prefer Lumos now, I would love to hear because I'm totally open to switching. That being said, I love client first, so you know, it wouldn't be very easy to convince me. So what can I say? I don't know the first thing about Lumos, so this just confuses me. There's a lot of components. Let's go ahead and open one. Uh, let's say edit component. Okay, so there's even components within components. This confuses me personally. If you use Lumos, maybe it won't confuse you. That being said, the confusion is a result of my slow brain. It's not a result of uh, the project. This is a clearly extremely well-structured template with everything being done using components, which is amazing. I need to do that more at the moment. I, I really don't do that enough. Uh, so Saeed, this is a really awesome template. Thank you. So that concludes everything that we have for this week in the Webflow space. Just to wrap up, Webflow released all new interactions, which is friggin' awesome using GSAP. And we have a ton of really awesome new stuff in the Webflow showcase. I've showcased just a few, some animations and some really high quality templates. The Webflow community is killing it. The Webflow team is killing it. Overall, awesome week again for Webflow. I guess I say that every week. When am I not going to say that? That is it. Have a great day and I will see you next week.